I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you practice questions on expanding squares of binomials. The question here is, expand and simplify the following, x plus 4 whole square, 2a minus 3 whole square, and 2x plus 3y whole square. Now before I begin, I want to ask you one thing. If I have a plus b whole square, what do I get? Do I get a square plus b square? No, I get a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is very important to understand. And that's the formula which I'm going to apply for all the three questions. So since I'm applying this formula, let me show you how we get it, right? So we'll begin with a plus b whole square, which could be written as a plus b times a plus b. So when you multiply, you have to multiply a with both, right? So that's the distributive property. So what you get here is a square plus a b, and then you need to multiply b with both of them, right? So you get b a plus b square. Now, a, b, and b, a is same thing, right? a, b, b, a is also a, b, a times b. That is commutative law of product. So we indeed get a square plus 2ab plus b square, correct? Now, if I was doing a minus b whole square, in that case, it was kind of like this. So, and when you multiply, we get a square a times minus b is minus a b, right? Minus b times a is minus b a. And minus minus makes it plus b square. This time we get minus 2 a b. So we get a square minus 2 a b plus b square. Is it okay? So the formula is that if I have plus, I have plus 2 a b. If I have minus here, I get minus 2 a b. So I'm going to apply this formula to expand and simplify. Is that correct? Okay. So the first one here, a is x, b is 4. So I get, let me write here clearly, big and bold, we get x square plus 2 times. Let me write here 2 times a and b, maybe x and 4. I mean, uh, this is 4, okay. Uh, plus 4 square, is it okay? That is x square plus we should write numbers first so 8x plus 16 do you see that so that is what you get and that is how you should be actually expanding perfect squares binomial squares this one is with negative so we'll use minus 2ab right so what we get here is let me use another ink or let me separate them out like this okay so we get 2a whole square, that is first term, minus 2a times 3 plus 3 square is correct. 2a whole square is 4a square, and this is 2 times 3 is 6, 6a plus 9. So that is the result. Correct. Now let's do once again part C. I hope it's simple. You have understood how to expand it. And that's the whole idea, right? If you do like this, you can do. I'm not saying. But at this stage, you should be in a position to apply the formula. Correct? Okay. So square of 2x, that's the first term, plus 2 times product of these threes. 2 times 2x times 3y. Are you getting it? Plus Put it in brackets, 3y whole square. 3 needs to be squared. 2 squared is 4, so we get 4x squared. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so we get 12xy. And here we get 9y squared. Is it okay? So that is the way it has to be done. Correct? So now here's a practice question for you. You have to do 2x minus 3y whole square. So this is... Question number, let's say question one for you. Question two is slightly complicated. Let us say you have x plus y plus z whole square. How are you going to do this one? 
So try these questions as practice question. I am going to take up x plus y plus z whole square in the next video. And I hope that helps. Feel free to post questions, share your views, and all the best.